I'm gonna pull him up and over. I'm pulling through. Pull him through. Wrap him up. We're on the gas. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Got underneath that. That's all right. Just give him slack. Lift him up. We can. I'm freeze blowing it. Get him. Okay, Brett, you got to get on there. You got to get on there and get into the hydrator. Go, go stick that thing in its face. The team quickly transforms into a pit crew. Get the thing in its face first. You want me on there to help roll? Yeah, go. Here we go. I got it. Roll him over. Covering its head with a towel will keep the shark calm. Full, full pressure on the water. This shark has to stay oxygenated, you know, rotten, the oxygen being pumped over his gills, and he can stay alive. As long as we keep water rushing over his gills, it'll stay alive for quite a while. Still, Dr. Domeyer estimates they must go back in the water in less than 20 minutes. Yeah. The best place to attach the tracking tag is the dorsal fin. Okay, that's in. It's the highest point on the shark, and each time it breaks the surface, the tag switches on. It transmits one message per minute to a satellite overhead. The longer the fin is up, the greater accuracy of position. Three messages allows for triangulation of the data and an exact near real-time location of the specific shark. There's a sample for you right there. They'll save the tissue from the drill sites. I need more, more DNA. It could yield clues to whether sharks in far-flung areas are related. Okay, all the samples are done. Yeah. DNA samples are done. Yep. Okay. They measure the, the length, hook? nose to the tip of the tail, and nose to the fork of the tail. So what was the long and short measurement, Jimmy? Uh, short, 109, long, 124. He's not going to let go. <laughs> He's got a good grip on my hose now. Yeah, Don't forget to determine the sex of the shark there, it's Dr. It's a male. Dome. It's a male. How did you tell it if it was a male or a female? By the claspers. The fins back by the pelvic fin on a male are elongated. And those structures actually act like a penis. There's internal fertilization in sharks. Yeah, your PAT tag now. Unlike the other tag, this tag is designed to pop off within six months. PAT tag is in. It will relay more data about the shark's movements, including temperature and depth. I think we're at like 12 minutes now. You're crimping and cutting threads right now. Very important to be sure that those nuts are tight and that then they clip them off and they use the propane torch and they melt the end of the thread and mash it down so it becomes almost like a rivet and that plastic nut can't back off. I can't afford to have it loose. It will fall off and the whole, all this effort would be for nothing. We need to get this thing back in the water, man. I think we're coming on over 15 minutes. OK, anybody off who doesn't need to be here? Charlie, get over on the lift. OK, that's the last thing. OK, everybody off. Everybody off.